All right, guys, so we're at uh, Planet Smoothie by Champions Gate, right? Mm -hmm. And what's your name? Yearly. Yearly? Yearly. Yearly. How do you say it in Spanish? Yearly. Yearly. Okay. So you Puerto Rican? Yeah. Cool. My name is Rich. Nice to meet you. So I'm going to ask you questions like I always do. Um, what do you think the purpose of life is? Um, I really think it's just to make the most of it, whatever you can to make yourself happy. I don't think there is one true purpose. If being happy means, oh, I'm going to go out every night, then that's fine. If being happy is going to school every day, then that's fine too. Do you think like happiness is a temporary emotion? Like we can't really experience happiness all the time. It's like kind of like it comes and it goes. It's like anger comes and goes. And so it's not something that we can like permanently attain, right? Right. I don't think so. Do you think peace is something that we could permanently attain? In a sense, yes, but I feel like there will always be times where like your peace is going to be disturbed by even if it's something small. So That makes sense. Let's say like you have a cold, like you've had a million times in the past, like you have peace because you know you're going to get over it. Mm -hmm. It sucks, but you're like, it's going to go. So you just like thug it out and get through it, right? Right. So do you think we have a soul? I do. I really do you think we have a spirit? Yeah, actually, I do like tarot readings. So like I'm very, I believe in all that spiritual stuff. And, yeah. Okay, so you believe we have a spirit, soul, and flesh. Yeah. So our body, what do you think it is? Like an earthly body suit that's going to go, like, but we're inside of it, kind of like just living? Yeah, pretty much. I feel like eventually, like, you know, when we die, when we go, like our soul is still going to live on, but our body will just stay in one place. Okay. Now, he said, that's good that you said that. I believe that too. Mm -hmm. I'm very, I'm very spiritual. Right. Um, so then what do, you, what do you think about the spirit then? So what's the difference between the soul and the spirit? I think the spirit is more of like an entity, if that makes sense. And your soul is kind of just like one part of it. Okay. So like the spirit is the whole thing and the soul is a part of it. So where does our spirit go when we die? I think the spirit goes with the soul. So you think they're like together? Yeah. In a way? Okay. So like our soul, like if you were just to the, like describe it, what would you say it is? Um, I'd say your soul is like a warm part of you it's just who you are as a person and what makes you you like your mind will and emotions yeah. and then this your spirit is is something more divine it just surrounds it and protects it do you think there's a bad spirits and good spirits like yeah. outside of us yeah no definitely i believe that all the time i think you know like there are people that have done bad things in life and it just takes with them after they die and it just stays there so do you think there's like Angels and demons? Yeah, I believe in that. Do you, okay, I just seen a quick vision. Mm -hmm. Do you like to write poetry? I do, yeah. I just seen you with like a book and you were like, you were like writing a lot of poetry and you were crying. Mm -hmm. I write a lot. And you were writing about the past a lot, like, you're, like you have like a daily journal or something like that? Or like a I journal? I used to, I don't do it anymore, but I used to. And you would talk about like the pain, the things you went through and like not understanding why like people don't understand who you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to journal a lot throughout high school, and then once I graduated, I stopped. But, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, and, and um, in high school, were you like kind of like isolated in a way, like just just different than most people? Yes, but in a way, like I I knew a lot of people and I had a lot of friends, but I would much rather just like like I would eat lunch in a classroom because I didn't want to be around so many people. Like you you isolated yourself in a way. Yeah. Because you you always knew that there was something more than just the money and. When everyone, everyone's focused on like looking cool and looking right. fly, you're just like, man. And you would try to be like that, but they would just like backfire on you and you'd be like, I'm a spiritual person. Yeah. So you're, like, you're a very spiritual person. You, you also get a lot of like crazy dreams, huh? I do, I get so many crazy dreams. They're just like random. Like it's things, it's not things that I've experienced, but things that literally could happen in any day. I even see it in the spirit that you even, you've had dreams of like ancestors or something like that, or like people. Yeah, I do. Like specifically a woman? Yeah. Old, old woman? Um, like middle age, yeah. Like 40s, right? Yeah, around there. Is she like a, does she have like grayish hair? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> kind of scares you though. It, like it, she scares me a little bit, yeah. Because you can feel it, it's not a good presence. Yeah, it's definitely not a good presence. It's kind of just something that's like, I feel it like looming over me and it's kind of just there and there's nothing I can really do about it. And you've, uh, for a while, you've been very depressed. Yeah. And it comes from your father. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, is he a big dude? Yeah, he's pretty big. Swole? 
Yeah. Puerto Rican dude, swole, like. Yeah, I just seen him tall, like basketball. He looked like a swole basketball player. Yeah, pretty much. Is he? Is he? He's not from the islands, though, is he? Um. Where's yeah, he? He grew up out there. Wait, wait. Is he, is he from like New York or something like that, or like? Yeah, he lived in New York for a part of his life. Okay. And he's very harsh. Yeah. He loves you, though. Yeah, no, definitely. I can tell that he loves me. It's just like a tough love. Because he grew up hard, with with a harsh background. Mm -hmm. Now, in your family. Are there people who are back in the island who practice Santeria? Um, I think my grandma does. Mm -hmm. I'm not that close with her though, so I'm not like sure. Your dad's side, right? On oh, my mom's side. Mom's side. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just looking at the. I'm looking like I'm letting God show me. So, I was really deep into Santeria, okay. and um, I actually went to Haiti to do voodoo. Oh, okay. Like, that? uh, it was real. Okay. It's not fake. Right. It's like realer than real. So like I was in the I was in the dope game. I was moving a lot of drugs, mm. doing a lot of stuff, taking LSD. I seen the spirit realm, seen um energies and actual demons on people and stuff like that. Right. Started getting deep into shamanism, mm -hmm. balancing chakras. Right. And um, you know, the evil eyes, the altars, the statues, the herb baths, the salt in the corners, the tarot card readings. Right. I went to New Orleans. I was gonna be a dual inducted warlock. Mm. I studied Islam, was raised Catholic, mm -hmm. didn't didn't believe it was Jesus. Islam was just like straight no power mm -hmm. just straight religion mm -hmm. buddhism they told me i was god i'm like how am i god mm -hmm. i don't know the purpose of life because right. i traveled the world had every woman i ever wanted but i was empty mm -hmm. so i i cried out to the higher power right. show me who you are mm -hmm. show me who you are like i was crying out i need to know what the purpose of life is mm -hmm. i had a supernatural enc encounter in my apartment alone with the highest power the, okay. the highest the light being um and like i got knocked to the ground and demons started coming out of me I experienced something I never, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> it's cold. Something I never, I never experienced before. And I got like fully filled with his spirit, got up and I just knew that it was Jesus Christ. Like I used to think it was false, it was fake. And then like, when I got filled with his power is when I realized like he's the answer to everything in my life. Like I, it was a void that was felt, like filled. I used to be suicidal, depressed, angry, murderous. All that was just wiped away. I used to drink all the time. After that day, I've never drank a sip of alcohol. I was the worst. I was a whore, I was a womanizer. After that, I've never been with, I've only been with one woman after that and I got married to her. We have kids now. I was bad. I couldn't even stop watching porn. After that day, never watched porn again. Like it was like I got delivered from legitimate demons that I actually saw. I saw the demons. So what if I told you that the answer to everything is Jesus Christ? And it sounds crazy and it's not religion. It's not what's been falsely represented. It's not denomination, that's division. It's like a real relationship with Jesus Christ, not religion. Yeah. Like, how did I know all those things I just told you? Really Spot on. Did I get anything wrong? Um, no. no like, got it was very specific, yeah. right? It's not me. It's him. Right. It's called the prophetic. Mm -hmm. And God wants to use you for the exact same thing. That's why you could just, you, you know people's energies quick. Yeah, I do. Very quick. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 it like, it'll frustrate you around the wrong person. Mm -hmm. And you deal with a lot of fear. Like, you, you, you'll just, like, isolate quick. Yeah. It's because you have what's called the discernment of spirits. It's an actual gift of the spirit, of, 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 from God. Okay. Like, you have to have that on your path. Okay. God wants to use you, this might sound crazy, no, I believe you. To, I to cast out devils, heal the sick, raise the dead, preach the gospel, and see miracle signs and wonders you'll never see with Satan. Mm -hmm. You'll never see with Satan. The gospel, the good news, is an actual, like, message, mm -hmm. and it's deep. So let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. Have you been attracted to women? Like, more than usual? Yeah. To the point where you would call yourself lesbian? Yeah. Like, but before in the past, when you, before the age of 16 specifically, there was like a change that happened. How do you mean? It's just like, you started to just embrace it. Yeah, I did. Around like 15, 16, yeah. Around 15, 16. Mm -hmm. And it's because of the trauma from your father. Mm -hmm. I used to think the Bible was a joke. Right. I used to think it was written by the white man like it was cat. Until so God showed me, like, took me down a path. Like, I didn't go from moving 100 pounds of weed every two weeks, <laughs> making, uh, like, a lot of money, not getting arrested, to giving everything up for Jesus for no reason. Right. I had a supernatural encounter with him. Mm -hmm. He did die on the cross for your sins. He, did. he was buried and rose on the third day. He's the only way to heaven. Mm -hmm. I want you to encounter the Holy Spirit right now. Okay. I won't even touch you, and I'll pray for you, and I want you to tell me what you feel. Okay. I'm going to back up far. Okay. Because the Holy Ghost is right now, I, first of all, I can see our angels, and I see the Spirit of God dwelling over you, strong. Yeah. 
He's going to deliver you right now. He's going to encounter you in a way that you've never experienced. And he's going to show you how real he is. You want to experience that? All right, so I'm going to back up. All right? Relax, put your hands down, close your eyes, or just, just chill, okay? I want you to say this, though. Say, say, Jesus, if you're real, touch me. Touch me with your power. In Jesus' name. All right, stay right there, close your eyes. I'm going to pray now, okay? Relax. I pray right now, Jesus, encounter her right there. Touch. What did you just feel? Um, honestly, I felt a lot of pressure. Where? Like in my heart. Like, we, like it was weird, right? Yeah. Like my heart wasn't beating really fast. And it wasn't beating before I prayed? No, it wasn't. So I'm here as a messenger to tell you that Jesus does love you a lot. In heaven, we knew each other. Our spirit comes from God. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, I knew you before we were... You're, so think about this. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah, the book says, I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. Right. Before earth was even formed, we were all in heaven mm -hmm. as spirits, angels, and humans, mm -hmm. right? God made us in his image, not the physical, mm -hmm. the spiritual, the spiritual image. And Satan wanted to be like who? Like God. Right. He wanted to be like us. The angels are not like us. They're totally different. They have a different ministry or, or different service in the spirit realm, mm -hmm. which is to serve us. So, so our souls do go to heaven. There is a hell. They can't even get to the core of the earth. It's too hot. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks about it eight times that, that there's, there's a place beneath. Yeah. I want you to just, I, I believe there's a major seed planted today. Hi guys, welcome. Perfect timing. <laughs> God you bless so you, much. sister. Have, Have a good one. Mind. You too.